Hello everyone, now we'll see how to find greater of 3 number in JavaScript. So, you can write JavaScript uh, codes within a body tag of HTML or uh, within a head section also you can write a JavaScript code or even as an external file. So, where is a keyword which is used to declare variables. So, you can give any name separate each variable by comma and each line by semicolon. Now we have to accept the values. So prompt is a function, predefined function which is used to accept the value from the user. So you can say, so here you have to give the message to the user what you want. So we will write enter first number. So you have to enclose in double quotes. Now here then uh, use bracket close the bracket semicolon terminate each line by semicolon now same line you want so better what to do copy paste this line copy then paste three numbers you want so thrice two times will paste of the same now here instead of a we'll write b instead of this will remove this now instead of this will write second instead of this write third so these are the three functions but uh, three times we had used to accept the data we will accept it will get assigned to a for second number will be assigned to b third will to c now we will use if condition if is used for decision making okay so here so we have to check a that is a variable a that is first value with second and third so a if a is greater than b and so this and is called logical operator and logical and which is used to uh, check the condition uh, multiple conditions so and uh, again one more thing a greater than c close the bracket conditions this is condition so if is a if statement or you can say decision making uh, statement or conditional statement which is used for checking the condition and logical and operator is used when you want both the condition should be true then only it will execute the statement immediately after if uh, condition so here we'll uh, by alert you can print the result so you can write like here a we want a value of a to be printed and message or uh, when you want to use plus sign this plus sign is to concat the result so we'll write a is greater number greater number then close the bracket will uh, not come to, then close the bracket semicolon now same we want now we want here else See if both are true then it will come here. Then now we want B should be checked with both. So we will copy paste this line. Now we will check B with uh, both that is A and C. See this it will go in this uh, if only when uh, first condition is true. Means if both are false then uh, or if any one is also false then this statement will not get executed then it will move to next so we'll check b with b greater than a and b greater than c close the bracket oh we had copy pasted you can paste also now let it be alert now we'll write which is greater b so a logical and is used when both the condition are true then only that statement will get printed uh, means after if immediately but if it is false then it will not print the uh, statement after this that is this will not get printed so we will write it's greater number but if even this is false then we'll paste here 
so we'll remove this we'll write else here because so you have to make alignment okay here this way but if you're writing like here little bit movement to understand that this alert is for this like this way also you can write okay this is called aligning now will not waste the time in this alignment so you can align this way also properly like this way codings are aligned it is optional actually it is better practice if you write this way and all the script javascript code should be written between script tag okay this is script tag this script uh, tag uh, after this it comes automatically now we'll write here c is greater we'll save the file now and close body tag and head tag so all the javascript code now we'll enter now first i'll save the program to show you now javascript file is always now i had given here suppose i'll write any name you give extension should be always dot html for javascript now run this click on this arrow or run this program now this we got by prompt this dialog box to enter the data it can be number character anything suppose 10 second number any number you enter 20 third number 30 so we got 30 is greater now again we'll run so what is the use if both the condition are true then it will execute this but if this is false then what it will move to this if if uh, both are true then only it will execute this means b will uh, get uh, executed means uh, the second statement will get executed but if even this condition is false means both and means what both the conditions should be true then only it will execute the statement immediately after it but if even this is false any of one condition or both condition then it will not uh, execute this line that is this alert base then it will move to else and execute this uh, statement because now c means finally c is only greater now we'll let us try to put first number as greater suppose i had put here 300 and here uh, 50 and here uh, 150 so here so we'll see now how to calculate greater of three number okay so here I had used parseInt function okay I'll show you again parseInt I should be capital okay so this i had written so parse int is used why we got uh, answer that way because we had not converted uh, into number parse what it does it converts that is it parses the string into integer integer means whole number and you have to close the bracket here okay so i'll show you so itself i had used in one line now we'll try to run this save this now let's try one by one suppose this is 100 200 and 3 so 100 is greater number now next again we'll run so first number was greater now we'll again run let's put second number as greater suppose this is 1 and this is 300 let's put this any number so 300 is greater now we'll put third number as greater so what will happen uh, 3 any put any number 5 suppose 9 so 9 is greater so this function is used uh, so I previously we got answer as incorrect because parseInt function we had not used so parseInt function is used it parses the string and converts into character so what is the function what is the use of if if both the condition are true then only it will execute this 
if any of one condition or both are false then it will move to next if if it it will b will be checked with a and b will be checked with c if both are true then only because and what it says both the condition should be true then only it will execute the statement after it but if, if even this is false then it will move to next else so here no condition is given means rest no need of checking so c is greater so hope you understood subscribe to my channel to get more updates thank you